Can we just take a moment to imagine if a man was recording a woman exactly like this? It's unprovoked, it's unnecessary, and he would be labeled a predator or a creep, or the questions would start as to how many videos he has in his phone and how young the girls are. But when women do this, it's perfectly natural or normal. Like, what was the expected outcome anyway? This person could be totally abusive, unhealthy, unhinged, but you want to find this random man. But not only that, so many women love to preach how dangerous men are, how creepy men are, how women are in fear of their lives just because they walk down the street. This man is running and y'all are videoing him like it's warranted. If you were doing the same thing walking down the street and a man was recording you because maybe you're looking exactly like that and showing a lot of cleavage, is it not the same thing? It's a perfect example of how being creepy is only considered creepy if the person is unattractive. The only reason that this is socially accepted and women have been stitching looking for this guy is because he's attractive. If he was not attractive and being recorded, then it would be considered creepy. Okay, bye. Yo, what's up guys? Back again with another video for the past or gross first and foremost please hit that like comment subscribe button it helps the channel a lot and i appreciate it very very dearly now today we have this woman here exposing the absolute hypocrisy behind these western women once again another thing for them to be hypocrites about for us to expose them for their hypocrisy yet again what a surprise there is a video of a woman basically filming a man minding his business working out going for a nice you know morning jog minding his own business doing his own thing living his best life in the zone tapped in locked in and there's a woman basically recording him quick break guys i just wanted to introduce to you the free money making guide to become a passport bro and sustain your lifestyle overseas how to make money as a passport bro working remotely get your guide now join the community running jogging minding his business and Basically, she finds this man attractive and she's basically putting out a PSA, a PSA public service announcement to social media, to TikTok that reads, find this man. I need to know who he is. Find this man because she finds this man attractive. See, this within itself is the utter hypocrisy. Because if the roles were reversed and this was a man filming a woman minding her business, jogging down the streets, living her best life, just going for a, a morning walk, a morning jog, they would be going crazy on that man, calling him every name under the sun. He's a creep. He's a stalker. He's a predator. He's this, he's that. But here we have a woman doing the same exact thing but it's as if it's no problem as it's as if it's appropriate for you to be a creep just because you're a woman absolutely not absolutely not this woman herself that is filming this man minding his business going for a morning jog not bothering anybody doing what he's doing working out trying to better himself trying to uh, improve his physical attractiveness and keep up and maintain his weight and his lifestyle and his overall health he's doing what he's supposed to be doing but here you are being creepy as creepy can be and filming this man that is just minding his business not doing anything wrong whatsoever but you think that it's appropriate and or okay acceptable to be filming this man in order to get in contact with this man it's like 
what logic does that actually make where is the logic in this scenario where is your logic logicking is your logic logicking where is the rationality because here you are asking social media random strangers that you do not know to find another random stranger that you found on the street and you want us to find him somehow some way without even knowing his name without even knowing his his whether he's single married has a girlfriend if he's even interested in women at all but you expect us to just find this man how where when with what tools it, it, it doesn't make any sense whatsoever and this is coming from the very women who love to proclaim proclaim and love to scream and shout at the mountaintop i'm strong and independent i don't need no man but whoa 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 hold on hold on hold on hold on rewind if you say you're strong and independent why are you not using that strength and in independence to independently walk up to this man and say hello sir how are you i saw you working out over there i saw you going for a morning jog what are you working on what are your body goals oh you like to run maybe sometime we can go for a workout maybe sometime we can go for a jog together just say anything say something to just strike up a conversation if this is somebody that you find attractive and or are interested in what sense does it make for you to ask random strangers on social media to find another random stranger on social media without knowing anything about this man that we can actually find this man like these women expect people on social media to be the fbi the cia inspect the gadget they want you to be a, 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 a rescue crew they want you to be the cdc the loc the xyz the lop they want you to just jump and just play inspector gadget and have scanners to just scan people's faces and have facial recognition or something to just find this man somewhere somehow and then relay that information to this random woman we barely even know you but here you are expecting us to do your dirty work instead of you yourself actually going up to the man and talking to him you're asking social media to find this man find this man you already found him you're filming him you found him you found him the work has already been done all you have to do is pick up them strong independent legs and use them legs to independently walk over to the man approach him go up to him and say hey sir sorry to sorry to bother you i saw you running over there what are you working on are you trying to lose weight or are you trying to maintain your body frame just ask any question just to strike up a conversation and from there things move on to other things one thing leads to the next before you know it maybe you guys can exchange, exchange information whatever that's the actual thing that strong independent women do but for some reason these women love to go and use any and every other option any and every every other routes but the route that actually makes sense the route that would actually require strength and independence and it would rather depend on the resources and people online that you don't even know to find this random man that we don't even know just to help you. It's like, who do you think you are? I better yet, who do you think we are? Like, we are not Inspector Gadget. We're not the CIA. We're not the FBI. We're not Homeland Security. That's going to be just finding people with just facial recognition like what type of technology do you think we have like i understand we got social media like technology today is very advanced is that you know very advanced levels we get that but even with the advancement of technology today we can't just find some random man's face and and tie it to his name and his pro social profile who even knows if he has a social profile 
This man not, might not even have social media. But we're supposed to just find him because you said, oh yeah, find him. It's like, there is absolute zero logic in this whole method approach. The actual approach that would actually make sense and that would actually get you actual results would be to get yourself up, get up, put the phone down, and actually go up to this man and introduce yourself. Strike up a conversation. Talk to him. Clearly, he's likes, you know, working out. He's running. Clearly, he's a fitness-minded, health-minded individual. Strike up a conversation. Ask a question regarding or anything health-related, fitness-related, well-being-related. That would spark interest from him. He'll be interested in, you know, prolonging the conversation. Clearly, this is something that he cares deeply about. Nobody would just be just running uh, this early in the morning. I don't know if it's early in the morning, but I'm just assuming. But running in general, if they didn't, to some degree, care about their health. So that's a way in. Not the whole, oh, let's ask the internet. The internet going to know. The internet going to find him. Oh, my goodness. Scan his face. Lady, you're a disgrace. So guys, please stay away from women like this. And honestly, don't take them seriously when they complain about not approaching because these women, they'll approach the men that they want, but they would just rather take other options. Thank you guys.